As the virus spreads, will dialysis centers shut down? Um, I think we have to do everything we can to prevent that from happening. And, you know, the National Kidney Foundation is doing a lot to work on that. And um, I think that um, there will probably be cohorting of patients, so shifts that may be devoted to patients who have the infection or potentially infected. There may be whole dialysis centers and other countries' dialysis centers have been devoted to this um, infection exclusively or patients at risk for the infection. Um, so there may be some things and there will be a lot of um, adjustment and you know a lot of changes uh, to help um, maintain outpatient hemodialysis during this time. I should say that what is NKF doing to protect patients um, during this time is another question. So in addition to uh, this Facebook Live, we may have other Facebook Lives in the future with other speakers, local speakers. We may have speakers on different topics. Uh, we have the National Kidney Foundation website, www.kidney.org, K-I-D-N-E-Y.org, that of course I just showed you before. And then in terms of advocacy, NKF is a patient advocacy organization. We've redoubled our efforts to ensure that the Advancing American Kidney Health Initiative um, elements are realized. So we understand there may be a pause now during the COVID-19 pandemic, but we want to ensure that we, we do better for our patients with kidney disease, that we treat patients with CKD so there's less kidney failure. We increase access to home dialysis. We increase access to living um, kidney donation um, and to, uh, to uh, deceased uh, kidney donation and to preemptive kidney transplant and kidney transplant um, in general. Specific advocacy efforts are to increase home dialysis for patients uh, at this time uh, because uh, that um, uh, is something that we think will help the country um, as a whole overall. We're working to ensure that patients can, are safe during the di dialysis treatments, uh, that hospitals continue to offer uh, transplantation where it's possible, and we understand now uh, that's going to de depend on the COVID-19 outbreak status. It's going to depend on operating room and ventilator capacity. So we understand that. And also we have to understand that the transplant centers have to consider the risk for the patient to come to the hospital now and potentially be exposed to COVID-19. So all those things uh, have to be addressed for the transplant team to adjust and or consider in these challenging times. Um, there's a lot to unpack there. And so that's really being done uh, locally on, on the basis of how the, how the infection is, um, is rolling out in the local community or is impacting the local community. And then of course, we wanna make sure that all patients with kidney disease have access to their medications, transplant patients have access to their immunosuppressive medications, that um, we're concerned about food safety for our patients in this time. We wanna make sure that patients have access to healthy foods and nutrition. And um, we wanna make sure that uh, patients have um, access um, to transportation, so especially important for um, in-center hemodialysis patients who need to go to their appointments um, three times um, a, a week, and typically. 